Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be giving you a short introduction on how you can integrate Zoho into Wix. I'll be doing just the brief intro since the entire process is very long and I cannot uh, fit all of that into a short tutorial. But let me just start by using this article on Wix. Uh, I could show you possibly in person. However, I don't know what I'm doing that well, and I don't want to risk it uh, confusing you guys by accidentally going somewhere that I'm not supposed to and just jumbling my steps. So to start, what you need to do before you start setting up the package is you need to create a Zoho web app. Of course, that does include you creating a Zoho account if you don't already have one then you need to open the api console for zoho and then click get started uh, once you log into your account and then click on this box here which is server based applications then you need to enter the client name for your web app the client type will already be filled out uh, you need to enter the homepage url and the authorized redirect URI urls uh, both are your wix site url so just enter it there then click create and copy the client id and secret uh, and these will be displayed once zoho creates the web app and you'll need them to set up on wix now you need to retrieve the auto sync uh, campaign id uh, you need to go to the crm uh, and go into the overview page for the campaign and then you need to copy the campaign id which looks like this and the id is the final section of the url that appears at the top of your browser now on wix what you need to do is you know need to open up the wix secrets manager and add these following secrets and then after that there is a whole wide variety of configuration that you're supposed to do uh, for example you're supposed to add these edits to the config.json file then you're supposed to create a single item collection for Zoho auth tokens and then you need to define the fields to use Zoho authentication data uh, then these are the fields that you need to define and you need to set the scope to the level of access uh, your Zoho account that you want your site to have etc uh, etc et you need to also retrieve the whole api access tokens uh, and you need to well make collection content as you can see here enter the access token and the ref refresh token then you need to set up the package content etc etc i would really recommend you guys use this article on the wix site uh, this is on the wix dev site it's j literally just called zoho integration i do recommend you check it out since there is a lot a lot of fine data that you need to go through step by step and i don't want to risk confusing you guys but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys in another video